morning. Happy New Year. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And welcome to 2021. Uh, Blessing Silla, Don. Amen. Good happy afternoon to those in the UK. And <laughs> yeah. again, Happy New Year. Amen. May 2021 be a hundred times better for you than 2020 was. And that means pretty good stuff for us because yeah. overall, 2020 was a, a, a good year Amen. for ministry and, and a good year for people searching for Christ. Um, we had a lot of great Amen. Jeep rides uh, because social distancing in a Jeep is a pretty easy <laughs> thing to do. But yeah. we want to start today off right with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray. Oh, we praise Father, you. that you would anoint your word. Father, as it goes out of our mouths, across the airways, that it might land in the hearts of the hearers and encourage them and give them strength. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for your word. I pray that you would bless those that are listening today. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would just help them, Lord, for those that are feeling pinned in, Lord, those that are feeling depressed, Lord, those that are mourning God, those that, that are, are, are feeling defeated. I ask in the name of Jesus that you would help them to know that we are the head and not the tail. Uh, we are the winners, not the losers. Lord, we are victorious in Christ. Thank Amen. you, Lord, for this day. You, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Good morning again, and welcome. <laughs> We're going to start the year off. I title this 2021, starting off on the right foot. And I thought, I said, you know, we, we should go look and see if there's any little daily devotions by somebody on, on starting off the <laughs> New Year's. So this, this one particular guy, he's probably the most quoted daily devotion giver ever in, in, in existence. I mean, this guy, this guy's really good. He influences so many ministers. So if you would join me today, turn to Matthew chapter five, as we listen to a daily devotion given by Jesus on the Mount. And these are called the Beatitudes. Real quick, this is what it says. In Matthew 5, and we're going to go 3 through 12, and this is what it says. It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children, children of, God. of God. I call this little section here the, the Beatitudes, This is because there, there's still another Beatitude. There's a, an additional one that kind of says blessed twice, but it's covering the same thing. These are, if you are, is what I call them, this section here, verses 3 through 9, if you are, if you are poor in spirit, which literally means broken, then you'll be blessed. Now the word blessed there mainly means an inward uh, blessing, happiness. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't denote that there are blessings coming in, like cash is coming in, somebody gave you a new car. No, this is an inward happiness. And it's a matter, again, of the heart. So if you're poor in spirit, which literally means broken, yours will be the kingdom of heaven. You may be poor now, but the kingdom of heaven is coming. Blessed are they that mourn. And mourn there means exactly what it's supposed to mean, mourning. If you're mourning the loss of, of someone, you'll be comforted. If you're mourning the loss of something, you will be comforted. This, this is what Jesus said. If you mourn, don't worry, you're going to be comforted. So if you're mourning, take the comforting. Blessed are the meek, which means humble, mm -hmm. uh, as, as opposed to those who are arrogant and prideful. <laughs> Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness. Not just hunger and thirst, but hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they righteousness? That's Jesus. Jesus. For they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful. Be merciful, that you might obtain mercy. 
be pure of heart and you will see God be a peacemaker and you'll be called the child of God that's that first section if if you do all those things in verse number three through nine then there's a chance that this is gonna happen and this is where his little his sermon takes a bit of a twist because mm -hmm. this is what it says in verse number 10 and 11 blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake and if that happens then this is what you should do rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you amen if you're feeling these things in your life if you're feeling like that like, like these things that jesus mentioned in matthew chapter 5 then then each one of those things is followed by a promise from god if you focus on the promise instead of focusing on the focusing on the mourning or focusing on the sorrow or focusing on these negative things then you're going to be blessed and what better way to be blessed than to have an inward blessing in your heart that brings happiness you know R randy has a quote from billy graham to finish us out yep and and you know we've talked about how christmas is wonderful but christmas is not complete without the coming of the Amen. lord as matthew was reading this this one scripture came here and it's matthew 25 32 the 34 it says and before him shall be gathered this is when the lord begins to gather when he starts separating when he does his judgments when all this stuff starts happening it says and before him shall be gathered all nations and he shall separate them from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats and he shall set the sheep on his right hand but the goats on the left then shall the king say unto them on his right hand come ye blessed of my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world amen you want to be blessed Ooh. come to jesus read that billy, quote graham by billy graham said this is something billy graham says or said excuse me it says the most important resolution you can make as another year approaches us is this to open your heart and life to jesus christ and commit your life to him amen don't waste your time on resolutions that don't ultimately matter. Resolve instead to live for Jesus Christ. It is really wonderful to enter the new year with Jesus Christ, all through the year to be going along with Christ and have Christ going along with you. No matter what the problems, many of them uncertain, many mysteries out of there, many mysteries out there in the future, but Christ is with you. Whether we know the future or not, we know who holds the future. Amen. If you have not asked Jesus Christ into your life, invite him. Start the year saying, Lord, I don't understand all this stuff, but Jesus, I want to know you. Amen. And he will meet you right there. It is not a fancy thing that you have to do at church. Amen. He's seeking a hungry heart. Start with Psalms. Start with the book of John or the book of Amen. Mark. Start off the year right. And Sunday, we're going to be talking about five easy resolutions. Yes. Small, easy to keep resolutions for 2021 that will help you in your growth with the Lord. Amen. Keep a praise song in your heart. And rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Wakey, wakey. God bless. <laughs> God bless.